It's a gorgeous day outside, but I've got to prep for a video shoot. Set up the mixer, plug in the audio, set up the lights, set up the tripods, plug in the camera. Sometimes I just wish there was an easier, faster way to produce quality videos. So on days that I'm feeling like this, there is a specific video type that I like to create. This video type has automatic inserts, transitions, and B-roll built into the footage. The first time that I made this video was actually over three years ago, and the video got over 50,000 views. And it was created with just a simple webcam built into my laptop. So this is literally doable for anyone. And when you look at this video, you'll see a little retention jump right over there. And that happens when I say the following words. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you now. And that is the first time that I actually realized that every time I share my screen with you, my audience is super interested in what I'm going to say. And so the easiest kind of video that you can create that is super valuable for your audience is a screencast or a screen recorder video. Now, one of the reasons that I really love making screencast videos is because they have real great educational value that allows you to show your viewers and not just tell them about stuff. And the other thing is that they allow your viewers to follow a process more easily so they can see what you're doing and follow along. It allows you to create really valuable content with just your laptop and your webcam and maybe a microphone. And that's it. No fancy equipment or setup time required. It dramatically reduces the need for you to add inserts and b-roll and transitions and all that because that is automatically built into the video and i'm going to show you that in a second and finally it is one of the easiest types of videos that you can edit so when you want to give massive value to your audience but you don't want to spend two days filming make a screencast video i promise you it is worth it so I use Camtasia to do all of my screen recordings because it has everything that I need. So I'm going to go over here to new recording and I want to make sure that all of these three buttons are on. So this is my screen. This is recording my face and this is recording the audio from my MacBook. OK, now I don't like the framing of this uh, because you can see that it is kind of looking the the webcam is not at my eye level so you always want to make sure when you're doing screencast videos and you're showing your face that the webcam is actually going to be at eye level to you so there's a simple fix for this no fancy technology needed you just need some books <laughs> so now i'm going to actually place the books under the laptop like so and let's adjust the laptop a little bit like this get the framing right Okay, that looks much better. And now the webcam is at eye level to me. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to choose to show audience retention graphs because that was the last video I did recording with Camtasia and showing my screen. So here we are inside YouTube and I'm going to go to this video and scroll down to the audience retention graph. Now, when I'm recording an actual video, I will probably move the mouse around and, you know, show different parts of the screen. Maybe I'll show, oh, what's happening at the 30 second mark. Like, so, oh, this is the retention. Then I'll move down here, read some text, say 66% of viewers, etc., etc. And I want to make sure that the entire screen is showing. When I'm done recording this section, I'm going to go over here and click on stop recording. This is going to display the Camtasia menu here. Now, if this doesn't automatically display, then what you can do is you can actually choose it from here, from the media bin and just drag it to the timeline like so. And you can see two tracks over here that are playing. The first one is my face. And if I drag the playhead around, you can see that this is the video that we just recorded or the clip that we just recorded. And my face has the audio recording with it. And the second track that's playing is the screen itself. So already you can see how easy this is going to be to edit because there are two tracks. That means I can edit the audio, I can edit my face and I can edit the screen and I can toggle between those two. So let's do the first thing, which is to set our screen to what we actually want to show in this video. And in this case, there's a lot of stuff showing that is unnecessary necessary, right? For example, these icons at the bottom. Now, I could have just removed this in the actual filming, but it's just easier for me to record the entire screen and do this in the edit part. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to crop over here and I'm just going to crop the screen to what I actually want to show. Now, because you can see that the size is locked over here, so it's going to keep my dimensions as I am cropping. So it's not going to make the video look weirdly elongated or anything like that. Okay. 
I'm also going to crop the top uh, like so because I don't want all that unnecessary window space. In fact, you can go a little bit deeper and maybe go here. Okay, so now this is the final frame that I want showing. Now, the other thing is I'm going to move my playhead around over here and I'm going to make a split between when I want to show my face and when I want to show the screen. So let's say this is the point where I am looking at the camera. So the first part is where I'm looking at the camera right here. And now I want to switch to showing something on the screen. So let's say this is the part. Okay. So what I can do is first of all, I can zoom into this and make a cleaner cut, right? Like so. And I want to make it right here where I actually stop speaking for a microsecond, perhaps. And I just go over here and choose split. Okay. So now I'm going to, and I'm also going to split the screen. So I should have chosen split all. So now it has split both tracks the face track as well as the screen share track. So now this enables me to put my face on the second track and put the screen up on top. So when I play, this is what's going to happen. Video and scroll down to the audience. Right. So I can remove my um, face anytime I want to focus on just the screen and I can show my face um, and I can remove this and just show my face as well. And I can make this bigger if I want it to like this. And that could be the entire screen. So that is uh, a really easy way for me to toggle between that. So I'm going to undo this for now because I actually do want to show the screen. Okay. Now you can also move your face around anywhere. If you feel like you're obstructing any text or anything, you can just move your face around and make sure that it's not obstructing any text that you actually want your viewer to be able to see. If you are still watching this video, let me know by putting in the word time below. So we know that we are all looking to shorten our video production time. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to share with you is when I'm recording the screen, remember I said, oh, we want to focus on specific moments. And so let's say we want to show this graph a little bit more clearly, right? So let's just scroll down over here and see, okay. What part do we want the viewer to focus on? Because one of the things that I absolutely hate about screen uh, cast videos, when people don't show the thing that you're actually supposed to be looking at, and the screen is so cluttered that you don't know where to focus the eye, right? So in this case, you can see all of this extraneous stuff happening on screen, all of these icons and everything. But really what I want them to focus on is, um, let's say, on the graph itself. Uh, so what I want to do when I want to zoom into over here is that I want to go into animations and I'm going to choose scale up. Okay. And all you do simply is you drag and drop scale up to where you want to start the scale to, to start. <laughs> okay. So I can use this arrow and I can sort of be like, okay, where do I want to drop it in? So let's say I want to drop it in at this point. Right. And then the other thing I can do is I can choose how long it will take. So I can make this arrow shorter or longer. Okay. So, and I can also make sure that the right part of the screen is showing at that point. So I can just sort of lift this up here and then play the video like so. And, and you know, show different parts of the screen. Maybe I'll show, oh, what's happening at the 30 second mark. Right. Okay. Another thing that I like to add in, which is really easy way of uh, keeping visual interest is adding in text, especially when I do, I want to do calls to action or I want to put some important text up on screen. So all you really want to do for that is you want to go into annotations and you can see a couple of different types of call outs here. You can add in text, you can add in arrows, you can add in shapes, you can add blur and highlight, you can add sketches and you can add in keystrokes. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this to where I want it to start from and then edit the text like so. Let's say we want to say um, the first 30 seconds are crucial and I can edit this. I can make it bigger, smaller, change the font size, change the colors, do all of these kind of things with it. Right. And also how long it should display. So I can just go here and change how long I want the text to display. So that's another way of adding in interactivity. And then let's say for the end part, I want my face back up on the screen and I want to end with you know, making a visual connection <laughs> with the viewer. So what I can do in that case is I want to maybe, let's say, split it at this point, And I want to put my face back up 
either as a picture in picture, so you can see it playing while the video is playing. Is showing when I'm done recording this like that. So this again adds in all of this interactivity right into the video without the need for any kind of fancy B-roll. See, lots of movement happening there in the, in the screen. So I'm showing stuff, I'm talking, I'm adding call outs, I'm adding highlights, I can add arrows and all of this kind of stuff makes the video so much easier to make and easy to edit and easy to watch. Okay, then I'm going to save this video. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is export it. So I'm going to save it as a test. And I'm going to then export it as an MP4 file. So I'm going to go to export local file and export this as an MP4 file for optimal viewing either on YouTube or whichever other platform you want to upload your video to. Let's say you want to upload a video to your website. You want to have it as a course module. You want to choose export to MP4. All right. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is that YouTube actually has a special category for educational videos and especially for screencast videos. So if you go into the details of any video and scroll down, you will see that it says category, right? Add your video to a category so viewers can find it more easily. OK, here I've chosen the education category. As you can see, these are all the different categories. This is an educational video, but this is where it gets even more specific. The type of educational video that you're making, you can tell YouTube that this is going to be a screencast video. So you can choose from this drop down menu. Is it an activity? a concept overview, a how to, a lecture, a problem walkthrough, a real life application, a science experiment, or a tips video. So these are all the different types of educational videos that you could be creating on YouTube. And I'm pretty sure that they've added in this feature and it's going to take part in some kind of search driven algorithm in the future where people are going to be able to choose, you know, what type of educational video they want to see. So in this case, I can say that this is a problem walkthrough because I'm walking people through the problem of, you know, increasing audience retention, let's say. So I'm going to choose problem walkthrough. And this is going to play an important part in how your videos are going to be categorized in the future. If you are just starting out on YouTube, why not create a screencast video as the easiest type of video to create? You can get started with Camtasia's free trial. The link is down in my description and you can use the code in my description as well to upgrade when you want to. I will see you in the next video.